Hello everyone and welcome back to daily of the 1000 day challenge. This day in Aaron Seven. So let's get things started. Just a very quick run through around the market, around the market itself. So on the SP 500, US market in general, we did see a very nice green bullish candlestick, although there was some sort of objection attempt. But the key thing is that we close above this high, showing that instead of forming a low, and the lower low actually form a low and a higher high, which is a key thing that we want to see for potential shift or momentum. And that's one thing that we want to see. And then moving along in terms of NASDAQ, why same thing? We also did see a high and a higher high. So this was a very nice supportive region itself. And the downslope trend has been retested and the frequency is increased, which is also a good sign of strength and a potential shift of momentum itself. And then over here, we are also seeing in terms of an upslope trend line. And we can see over here in the fact that we are potentially breaking, we have potentially broke above this, which is also similarly a very good sign of, uh, yeah, so over here we have a potential kind of upslope trend line, this is potentially a key resistance zone. Reason why I draw this is, like what I mentioned, upslope trend line is firstly subjective, secondly is the fact that I will still lean towards more of a confluence towards this horizontal resistance itself. So this does points to a kind of a potential confluence of resistance zone. And I do think that we are much more likely to have some sort of pullback or consolidation prior to a very strong break or even the rejection down towards the downside. But definitely, it's very unlikely to continue that kind of momentum with a very clean straight break and maintaining above it. And in terms of QA wise, I do think that we are likely to consolidate here a little bit more, giving time for this 20 explanation average to catch up. In which case, you'll form a very good base for it to bounce to the side. So basically, you want to have a very strong base, a very nice kind of support for these moving averages wise, and then give a very nice push towards the upside itself. And then finally, for Bitcoin itself, we did form a green candlestick itself. So it's very clear that for two consecutive days, we are closing near the low over the 22k region itself. But for yesterday, we actually managed to close at the yeah, very close right below the 23k mark, which is a very clear sign of strength. We are definitely going to push towards the upside. I don't think that we are going to push at least to this 24k region itself. The question is how far will we be able to push within this range? And if we do get rejected, how far will we be able to trace for and pullback? So yeah, for me to enter a long setup, I do would prefer to have one more retest and for this moving average to 20 exponential moving average on the four hour chart to be relatively flat before I consider a long setup. And yeah, with that said, uh, that would be a potential setup over here. Stop loss of my right to yeah, and then we can have a very decent setup somewhere around here. So this would be my trade entry if it does break above, but bear in mind that I would not put this trade in right now simply because of the fact that I would want this to have a further retest and give time to consolidate, in which case I could potentially tighten my stop loss right below the 20 exponential moving average and then giving rise to a much risk to reward setup in that sense. So it really depends how things go, but I'll definitely be very cautious as we enter this trade because this will be a very nice and short swing trade rather than say a uh, momentum trade whereby I can have a very large kind of risk to reward simply because when it hits there I do think that this is very much likely to be the very last wave and the pullbacks is very much likely to happen very unexpectedly in a very clear rejection side. Otherwise, with that said, I've come to the end of today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to provide your comments below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.